Hello, how are you doing? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you two things. Number one, summer cannot come soon enough. It is absolutely freezing. I've literally made myself a peppermint tea for the purpose of warming up my body. <laughs> Do you like my mug? I love my mug. Another thing, I put way too much makeup on this morning. Like, Susie, it is a Monday. It is a Monday. You do not need this much makeup on. I am like full glam. It is a lot. It is a lot, but yeah. Today, it's blooming freezing, but I'm having a good day. It's, I feel really good today, really happy. It's really nice. Just had a little delivery, which I'm gonna unbox with you. And yeah, just getting back on top of things, had a weekend away. As you will have seen in the last vlog, I believe, I went to see Victoria and Alex and Amelia, and it was so much fun, it's so, so much fun. So I will link to that video at the top of the screen if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, feeling really good after that, and just I've caught up with so many people in the past 24 hours I haven't seen in so long. So feeling really, really like good and happy and, bloated from all of the delicious foods so this peppermint tea hopefully will be doing bits for me but yeah also very excited at the moment i can't remember if i told you in the last vlog this is going to be a bit of a life update here but we booked in and we have paid our holding fee for our garage conversion so basically ryan will be moving in here and having like a studio here which i'm so so excited for so that's going to be happening in august and we just put the holding fee down for that which is so i literally i wasn't expecting to be that excited especially about spending as much money as we're spending on this conversion because basically the roof's got to come off and go back on basically the one wall that's not being changed and there's no floor in there or anything like that so we are essentially starting kind of from scratch so yeah really it's costing a fortune and i shouldn't be as excited about it as i am but i'm so so happy about it it just feels like such a relief to finally get the ball rolling so yeah that's gonna be happening in august which is also great because it means that we kind of thought it would be happening a bit sooner, but we took our time, our sweet time with a lot of the details. And because we took our sweet time, the next available slot is August, which is actually great because it means we've got a little bit longer to save. And we might be able to squeeze in a quick holiday before the work starts, which is wonderful. But yeah, I am very excited at the prospect of a holiday and feeling some warmth. It excites me a lot. Oh my God, my hair is such a mess this morning. Sorry, I had to put my tea down there because it was like slightly burning my hands. But that is my little kind of life update and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Hopefully for the rest of the week, we've got a bank holiday this week. So in the UK, we have Good Friday and it's always a very good Friday. So I am very excited because it is a four day week. So that's adding extra to my mood. I don't know what we'll be doing. I was meant to be hosting something, but I feel like I've kind of left it to the last dying second and now I'm slightly stressed about that. Yeah, let's get unboxing some posts because I have a Karen Millen order that I'm very excited to share with you. Here we go. So today's video contains a paid for integrated partnership with Karen Millen. They asked me if I'd like to pick some pieces off of their website and I thought with Ryan and I potentially going away, this would actually be quite perfect timing but i've made sure to pick things that i feel like i will wear both if we go away but there's also some bits for wearing here but it's all kind of very timeless really lovely pieces and the quality looks really great i'm so so excited about it praying to the fashion gods that the old uh wonder web hemming web hack works on these trousers because i know they're gonna be so long for me but they are so beautiful look at that color that is the Susie color if there ever was one these trousers they're like a satin effect trouser are oh most stunning thing there's also a matching shirt that goes with these and i desperately want it but it's currently not in stock and i'm so sad but we've got pockets which is lovely it's big like billowy flowy trouser leg it's just stunning i'm really hoping i think i can take this up i've got a good feeling i've got a good vibe side note if you want to know how i take stuff up i've actually done a tiktok on it yeah if you haven't seen my little tutorial that i did on it i will link it in some way i've got a size eight these are called the satin crepe wide leg high waist trousers and the shade mink gorgeous i think they also do a khaki green as well which is just but this was like a very me color, really timeless, classic. I will just have that in my wardrobe for years and years and years. And I think that pair of trousers would be gorgeous, both like away with like a tiny little like slinky top and sandals in the evening, but also for the UK style up with like a cute shirt or like a Zara body. It is the girl that can do both, you know? I think it would look really cute if you had like a long trench coat on over the top as well in like a similar kind of neutral tone too. And then this might seem really basic, but I really loved these linen shorts i actually got them in white and black they just look like a really nice fit on the website a really nice length hopefully they will be on me <laughs> you just never know like a real timeless classic 
for kind of spring and summer when the weather eventually warms up and it might seem really basic but i thought these with like literally just a black shirt and then like a really cute pair of sandals like in a tan and then like a tan bag when the weather warms up would be such a cute look and with that in mind i also picked up this gorgeous black linen shirt which looks really cute and i got it in a size eight normally i would size up in these and maybe that was a rookie mistake on my part however i wanted it to be a little bit more fitted than usual so that it would tuck really nicely into the black linen trousers without there being too much like excess billowing over the top i like a slouchy shirt but i think when you're tucking it into shorts it's not a vibe to have too much like material kind of hanging over so i went for my regular size and i've got the white shorts as well you guys know i love a white pair of shorts and these would look so cute even with like the body that i'm wearing right now so yeah this body a black body a nice like white kind of shirt jacket over the top would be such a cute vibe i really love a good pair of shorts it's spring summer so really excited about those cannot wait for the weather to warm up so i can wear them i also picked up this really cute little cami which is just super versatile like it would go really nicely i think especially with the white shorts but also um, i'm wearing like blue jeans today and i thought this would be a really i don't have a lot of of cami tops and i thought this would be a really nice one it's like a ribbed cami and it's like got quite a lot of weight to it so it falls you can see it falls really nicely and i thought this would be really cute it's in this gorgeous like yellow toned beige i thought this would just be really nice with like a simple pair of jeans during spring summer just a really nice like little cami vest top i also picked up these gorgeous trousers these are in like a linen as well which is so nice because during like the warmer months i actually just have like tailored trousers and sometimes they're a little bit thicker and these are really nice and light and i thought these would be so cute again even with that black shirt this would be such a cute vibe with like a body it would also look really chic i'm hoping the length of these are okay on me if not i will be taking them up they've got nice little belt loops as well so with like a, either a black belt with like a gold buckle or a tan belt i think these would be really lovely i got everything in a size eight by the way just for reference and i'm typically like quite solidly a size eight at the moment so those are really lovely and i think again like basically all of these pieces if ryan and i managed to get away would be so ideal whilst our spring weather ain't really springing but once it's warmer here as well and we start getting some proper solid spring weather those trousers will be so amazing as well a really nice piece for like an all black outfit last year i did a lot of all black outfits whilst the weather was like warm and i really really enjoyed it i figured out it was my real like comfort zone so i plan to continue that this year and just pop some real classic staple pieces into my spring summer wardrobe so that was this morning's little delivery i can't wait to try these bits on those silk trousers like the satiny trousers oh my god i'm gonna cut to the try-ons now so you can kind of see everything i'm really excited i'm just praying i'm praying that the trousers are good i'm praying they fit well okay so these are the trousers they're very cute i feel like they'll do me really well going from spring into summer they are a little bit big at the waist in terms of sizing i'm quite small at the waist and then my hips are a lot bigger so you know it's just always going to be the case when i'm buying trousers unless they're kind of like paper bag style then i tend to do really well but these are more of a straight fit so just take that into account when purchasing for me it's fine i've just belted them at the waist and they fit really well on the leg not too tight and then i'm wearing them with a black body black sliders with a little gold buckle basically lots of black and gold for this look and this would be really cute for like cooler summer days in the uk obviously because in other countries this is a spring look but yeah i could get away with this on a cool summer day but overall it's a very nice spring look i would wear this with a shirt over the top which i have here this is just a plain white like boyfriend style shirt very like oversized but i really like the overall kind of like vibe that this gives and with these shoes i would pair like a nice big oversized kind of tote with it i really like this tote because it's like a kind of linen-y not a linen -y, what's the canvas texture and then it has the black straps and trim around the edge which really ties it in with the outfit and the canvas lends itself really well to the texture of the trousers as well but during the summer you could also accessorize this with tan accessories as well and i think that would look amazing so i'm going to show you that now so i've just paired it with these shoes which are the best money i've ever spent these tan shoes come back every single summer and then just this little tan and kind of like canvas bag are very very cute just really casual and i think they both work really well with the outfit i love this kind of color palette in the summer this very non-existent color palette it is definitely a little bit of me see so yeah, at these trousers i think will be a really great staple in my spring 
summer wardrobe. What do you guys think? Let me know. Oh, and the only other thing to note is I have rolled them up at the bottom. I definitely will look into taking them up just because I'm obsessed with that at the moment. It has changed the game for me in terms of trousers. I used to love like a cool pair of trousers, but I always really struggled with the length of trousers on me and I would send so much stuff back, but actually just being able to take up my trousers myself or have them taken up has been an absolute game changer for me. So yeah, definitely something I will look into doing with these because full length, I think they do these in petite as well, but they weren't in stock when I ordered, but full length, they are a little bit long on me. So rolling up, definitely <laughs> necessary for me. And I think these would take up really easily as well. Yeah, just wanted to try them on first before I go in with the Wonderweb. You guys, I think these might be the best <laughs> fitting pair of trousers at the waist that I have ever owned. Like this is <laughs> incredible. It is like, like so perfect. I've never had a pair of trousers fit my waist this perfectly and then still like work over like my hips and leg. Unfortunately the leg length is crazy on me so I will need to have these taken up. I think by a professional because I don't trust myself with taking like there's so much material I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that with a bit of wonderweb so definitely going to have to look into having these taken up but they are such a beautiful pair of trousers. I think if I can get the matching shirt as well, it would be so beautiful. I think you could even do it as like wedding guest dress attire for like a more casual wedding, like a smaller, more casual vibe of a wedding. This with the matching shirt would be gorgeous for like spring, summer, depending on location, obviously. But these are incredible. They feel amazing. Like the quality is just incredible. They look amazing. I am obsessed. And even just with this black body, they just look lovely. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. They are gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think these are well worth having taken up because they are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I love the shirt and shorts combo. They're really cute. I really like the duo together. They both fit really well. I maybe could have gone for a size down in the shorts, just to have them fit like perfectly on the waist. But to be honest, I'm happy to belt them and then it means it's just so much room for food and I'm, I'm always okay with that. The only thing I would change about the shorts is something that I can change. I'm just gonna take them up literally just the thickness of the seam on the bottom so that they just sit a little bit better on my frame because obviously my legs are just a little bit shorter than average. So I would literally just take them up to this length, nothing crazy short, still like a really lovely length, but I just think that kind of inch and a half would make all the difference on me. But yeah, other than that, I think this is a really nice little spring summer combo. I really love the black and gold details. It's something I'm very, very into at the moment. And I've rolled the sleeves on the shirt up. I don't know if you could tell earlier on, but they come unrolled, but they've got this little like bit underneath and you can roll them up, which is really great. Just paired it with tan shoes. I think that looks really cute, but I also think this will pair really nicely with trainers as well, so I'm going to show you that now. Actually, the sliders look really cute with this as well, like a real dad look, because the shorts are like a little bit longer on me as well at the moment, obviously. But I kind of love that. I think it would look really cool with like your hair like slipped back in a bun. Yeah, I think it looks so cute with a pair of trainers. Go for a white trainer with like a black accent to tie it all together. I think that works really nicely. It would also work really nicely with this bag, like a really casual everyday little look. I love this. I think it's so cute. Oh, I just need the weather to warm up now. Praying it's going to get good soon. So after trying on the shorts and the shirt, I thought I'd just revisit the trousers for a second and give this combo a go. This I saw on the website when I was looking at the trousers. That's how it's styled. And I didn't plan on styling it like that because I just thought it'd look a little bit dead on me, a little bit too workwear, which all of these pieces can be amazing. Styled both like casually and for workwear. I think they're really great staple pieces to have in your wardrobe that you can get a lot of wear out of. Yeah, I wasn't gonna style this shirt and trousers together because I thought it might look a little bit too workwear-ish for me. And that's obviously not my vibe. I work from home, I don't need to do that vibe. But I thought I'd just try them all together after trying it on with the shorts and having the shorts and shirt styled up with the trainers I really really liked that look and I thought I'd give it a go and I actually really like this look it looks almost more like a jumpsuit it looks much more casual I really like it and I think it's going to be a great look for spring again the nice big oversized casual bag the trainers I really like it I think it's so cute okay I know there's a lot of people out there that are going to hate this but I love it I really love it so I've just styled the white shorts up they're definitely going to need a little bit taking up i feel like they're almost a little bit longer on me or they just give the illusion of looking longer on me than the black pair but i think they'll be really nice once taken up i've kind of styled them based on the fact that they are longer and they look a little bit longer i've kind of really gone with the dad short vibe so i've just started with my black body my white 
shirt. I would go for a linen, kind of match the shorts, but I haven't done my spring wardrobe switch over yet. So all of my linens are still in storage. I've just thrown on this kind of like cotton boyfriend oversized shirt, which I think really adds to the vibe because everything here is like a little bit oversized. I've gone for the bucket hat because I think it really adds, <laughs> just really going hard on the dad look. And then these trainers, they've got like the white and black, which I think ties it all together. I've tried to keep everything very white and black here. I really love it. It's definitely more of a summer look, but I really like it. It's so cute. But yeah, without the hat, it still looks very, very cute. So this top is so cute. I love it. It actually looks really good with my like brownie khaki trousers that I have that some of you will have seen. I bought recently and I've taken up and they are like my favorite trousers at the moment. It looks really cute with that. That'll definitely be a really nice combo for when the weather warms up a bit just to make the most of the no jacket situation and the colors work really nicely together. So I like the combination on its own, if that makes sense. So that's why I say it'll be a nice one for when the weather warms up a little bit, just because I want that combo to be like the standout part of the look. But I also think this top works really nicely for now, just with these jeans, which are like my favorite jeans of the moment. A pair of trainers and then like an oversized boxy leather jacket. It's just such a cute look. It's like my favorite kind of combo to wear at the moment for when the weather's, you know, being very weathery. I just think it's so cute. It's like my go-to date night look at the moment for when I don't want to be like super dressy, but I just want to look cute and casual. you think of those pieces let me know so it's a little bit later now i've just been steaming some clothes planning some outfits getting a few bits done and the dog is staring at me like she needs to go out to why do you not do this when i'm not vlogging honestly yeah just been getting a few bits done whilst you've been watching my try-ons and now i'm about to make some dinner because i'm starving i'm so hungry it's giving me like the food sads you know you know we just feel like the saddest girl ever because you're hungry and need to eat. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started with that. I think we're having green pasta tonight, which is basically pesto and like a mashed up avocado. It's so good. So there is very little like method to this dinner. Everyone always asks me for recipes. I don't have them because I'm actually a terrible cook. <laughs> no, I'm not a terrible cook. I'm just not like the most chefy kind of girl. So I very rarely actually like have a specific method of what I'm doing, but I basically just mash up an avocado, mix it with some pesto. I've picked pre-made today just because Asda had some. And I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh basil today, I think as well, just to give it a little bit of ex an extra kick. And then I love to add like salt, pepper, a little bit of truffle oil, always bangs. So, oh my gosh, the seagulls on my skylight. I'm not an animal hater, but they scare the crap out of me. Better to pick like a ripe avo and then just mash it up the fork. Sometimes I put it in my blender as well. It depends on how chunky I want it. It's really good if you put it in a blender though. So I might do that. We'll see how much effort I can bother to put in in the next 20 minutes. Yeah, then I'm just going to add some of this pesto to it. Also, I'm so excited guys. Today I realised that I actually have a hair appointment on Thursday. Maybe did I actually it this morning i no, i think i said i have a hair appointment soon but i completely forgot it was thursday but basically i realized i re-realized that i have a hair appointment on thursday and i think i'm going to change my hair like i'm gonna give it a little cut which i know i literally just had it cut but i'm basically making a little mood board of what i want to do with my hair so yeah i think i'm going to change my hair this week which is so exciting i just feel like I want to do something a bit different because I'm not really changing the colour very much. Like I'm going to just say brown, a variation of brown forever now. I'm really excited. I'll take you along with me. I was also planning our bedroom renovation earlier because I'm not spending enough money on the renovations. I really want to redo the bedroom slightly for when Ryan moves in. So that was really fun, like looking for new pieces to add into it because i've had the same bedroom stuff for so long now but like keeping the majority of it but just upgrading a few pieces to match with what i'm gonna like do with like the walls and stuff so that's really fun can you tell i was really procrastinating this afternoon so i have so much house admin that i need to do with like the building stuff and i was Looking at like chest of drawers. I'm also gonna do some of these Kievs. This is basically Ryan's favorite dinner at the moment is green pesto pasta with a plant-based Kiev. He's obsessed with it. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. These are so good. They're like the best 
plant-based Kia I have ever had. They basically taste like normal Kia. It's great. I should give you a little air wrap update. It's just, it didn't look this good like two seconds ago. I've just put some oil on it and it seems to have started behaving. I washed my hair last night. I actually didn't vlog after I made my dinner. My dinner was delish. It was so good. And I sat on the sofa, kind of stared at the wall for a bit because my brain is always a bit dead at the end of the day. I am, um, I'm not a morning person, but I'm also not an evening person. My brain just basically doesn't work for the majority of the day. But I stared at the wall for a little bit, watched Twilight, wondered why I was ever really super into it. Still was very engaged by it, but at the same time, I was like, this film is so weird. So yeah, that was my evening. I had to pause it halfway through because I was like, if you don't wash your hair now, you're going to be blow drying your hair at like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, and that's not the vibe. So I air wrapped my hair last night. This is probably going to be so boring for you if you don't give a crap about air wraps, but I thought I would just give an update. The thing, I've just oiled it because the thing that I struggle with is and like 0.01% of you will ever have seen my natural hair. It's actually quite frizzy. So it doesn't look frizzy when I first wash it, if I leave it to dry naturally, but it just grows. You know, there's that scene in Harry Potter where Hermione's getting stressed and her hair's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That is what my hair does. I don't have to get stressed though, it just gets bigger. So that was kind of happening this morning. I noticed throughout the morning, it was just like starting to like puff a little bit. So I've just put a bit of oil on it and it's it's done a good, it's done good things. But I, do obviously have like certain kinks so i think it's never going to be an air wrap and go and never touch it again situation for me i'm probably going to need to touch it up and my roots are also still a little bit you'll probably only be able to see it if you see the back of my head but because my hair is like naturally wavy it's very very wavy at the root so i did see that when i was air wrapping it it wasn't necessarily teasing that out. But I think what I might do when I air wrap after washing my hair is use the brush attachment. So like the round brush attachment, because that's what I blow dry my hair with normally and it works really well. So I'm gonna give that a go next wash, but that won't be for a while because I have a hair appointment Thursday. I was making my mood board last night for my haircut as well. Yeah, that is my little air wrap update. It's held well. Like I knew it would, when I wash my hair, it always holds very well, but it does need a little bit of, it's not like a perfect blow dry, basically, because my hair likes to do its own thing. I'll show you what it looked like after I blow dried it last night. I'll put a little picture here. So yeah, it has dropped really, really nicely. I'm interested to see how it looks at the end of the day today as well. That was really hard to say. I've like botched that like six times. Oh my God, you guys, how cute is this little delivery from Gucci Beauty. Let's see if I can unbox this with one hand. Nope, I can't. Two seconds. Look. Oh my god, this is like my favourite thing in the world. I love liquid lipsticks. This is so great. <gasps> this colour. That is gorgeous. That is like the most gorgeous summery red. This, oh, love that. And I cannot wait to try these two. These two look like a bit of me. And then we've also got a little felt tip long wear liquid liner, which I am very much looking forward to trying. Oh, the packaging is so cute. I am obsessed. Cannot wait to try that when I next do my makeup. Everybody, I have had a double shot of coffee this morning. Anxiety is through the roof, but I'm also firing on all cylinders, so it's gonna be a good day. I'm actually going to the hairdressers this morning. It is the day. I made my mood board last night, so I will pop it here. Is it weird to sometimes have your friends on your hair mood board, maybe? even weirder when you're seeing them really soon probably annoyingly i'm having like a decent you know it's one of those hair wash days where you need a hair wash but your hair is kind of like still like it's being big and it's being fun and i'm like oh, of course it's always the day you go to the hairdressers that your hair is like not the worst this by the way is the end of my air wrap 
that I did at the start of this vlog. So it's lasted for three, three days and it's still, like it's still wrapping at the end. I've brushed it so many times as well and I know everyone says don't brush it with a proper hairbrush because it goes crazy, but I actually, I really like it. it does good things for me. But yeah, that is what I am literally about to leave to do. Cutting it slightly fine as always, but it's fine. I slept so badly last night like my face feels so puffy today I think I've got some spots coming as well because my face just like hurts in like random places so I'm really glad that we're about to approach a long bank holiday weekend and I can just be chill and drink lots of like smoothies and eat lots of good things and just chill and hopefully by the time you next see me my face will be glowy of its own accord not of all the makeup yeah I just filmed today's outfit for my tiktok which is my burberry oh what am i doing my burberry trench i'm obsessed with this it's so cute my zara white little top which i've made cropped by tucking it under my bra little hack for you there especially if you want that like shape that's trending at the moment where it like goes up a little bit in the middle top shop really old trackies and then my Nike Dunks. I've got my Balenciaga bag just there, which I have shoved my laptop into because I've realized I actually have a lot to do today. <laughs> yeah, we are off to get ooh, the old hair done. Let's see what I come out with. <laughs> The toner is on. I've showed Carla my mood board. I'm very excited. I literally haven't done anything with my hair in so long. I'm very, very, very excited about this. tell me I don't look adorable with a little fringe I love this it's so cute though I have already effed up a little bit and put lip gloss on and it's probably the worst hairstyle you could ever have with lip gloss but it's fine I'm actually really excited to style it tomorrow I'm thinking of putting just like some loose waves through it like we've got a bit of a like undone blowout at the moment which I really like and I'm definitely going to do this a little bit more i think it looks really nice with like the swishiness it's really cute but i do want to see what it looks like with more of a like textured messy wave in oh my god you guys look how cute my hair is with the clippy in i love this i feel like i look like trash i've just had to redo my makeup because i had like so much hair and stuff on my face and i needed powder and all of the above <laughs> i'm just not feeling fab today but the hair is helping this is so cute i'm just wearing a plain white vest top and these trousers, which I'm just obsessed with at the moment. Just really simple. I'm not even sure if the vest top is like a vibe right now, but just going for cute and comfy around the house this afternoon. And I actually thought, seeing as we've been talking about hair, I was talking through my hair care routine at the moment. This isn't a spawn. It sounds like I'm going into a spawn section. I'm just so naturally commercial. Um, God, <laughs> what am I like? No, actually I did my what I wore, what I wore. No, I did my what I've had done video a few weeks back and I had a few questions over what I've been using on my hair in addition to like what my hairdresser does and I realised I completely forgot to talk about that but that video was long enough as it was so I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk you through my hair care routine in full. It's very consistent, I actually have multiple like reels and IGTVs with all of the products but I haven't really talked you guys through it on here. Also, by the way, I'm so sorry if I have anything in my teeth. I've just like annihilated a bowl of cereal because I really needed to eat quick before we crack on with the afternoon. All right, you are about to see some well life products. So I'm really, I'm really sorry for the state of them, but this is real life. This is what they end up looking like. There are a few hair care brands that I love, but I predominantly use Kerastase. I actually started working with them just before I chopped in the bob. I think I've talked about this a little bit before. Yeah, just before I chopped in the bob, I started using them. My hair was so damaged and broken and their, lots of their ranges are really catered towards like helping your hair's health, like really in-depth treatments. 
and I love that. And because my hair has stayed so healthy over the entire like two year process of kind of like the bob and the growing out, like look at that, look at that hair. It was this short, it was literally like this length. It stayed so healthy and it's both a testament to, I think my hairdresser looking like an egg for four months of 2021 and really good hair care and being meticulous with my hair care. So whilst I work with them, I actually use them like religiously. Literally, I, I don't, I rarely use anything else. Like I think I have some Olaplexes at Ryan's and I also have a full set of Kerastase. Basically, I've bought this like five times over. I've replaced the things I've used. I have a set at Ryan's and a set here. And you know if I have a set of things at Ryan's and here, I really genuinely am obsessed. Like I have a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation at Ryan's and about 10 of them here. This is my favourite shampoo and I didn't ever really think I'd have a like favourite shampoo after the Bumble and Bumble Detox shampoo because that was an amazing shampoo. I don't really use it anymore because I've got too much colour on my hair. I feel like it's quite stripping. But the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Seeker Extreme Balm is, oh, it's amazing. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I think the first time I ever used it, I didn't wash it out properly. <laughs> And it was a little bit like funny around the back of my head. I obviously missed the spot, but now I'm used to it. I am obsessed with it. It stops like, I get really dry spindly flyaways at the top of my head. I actually didn't use this in my last wash. I used a different one. I used this and I love this, but this is the most hydrating and actually stops those weird little flyaways. And I love that because my hair is quite like a naturally dry texture. Like this is not the natural texture of my hair. It's dry and frizzy and very porous and all of that so this is amazing for it i absolutely love it if you have quite dry hair if you have that beachy hair texture even if it's not like a beachy wave if you have that texture i would highly recommend this whether it's because your hair is like damaged by bleach or just like naturally textured this is so good especially if you want real sleek glossy hair i cannot rave about it enough i'm gonna like leave the chat there because we'll be going on forever but i love it and it is amazing it's like catered towards colored hair and protecting the color and keeping it like if it's got blonde in it like really amazingly shiny pristine non-brassy blonde hair you know i also have the purple shampoo from that range as well which i really enjoy not at the moment but come summer i will be really enjoying once again i have a mask from the range as well which i really enjoy and i repurchase a lot this is the Blonde Absolute Mask Secret Extreme, which is amazing. There's also a heat protectant in this range as well, which is very good. However, I found one from Kerastas that is even better, so but lots of their things are amazing. Basically, all of their stuff is amazing. What else do I like? So I really enjoy this shampoo at the moment. It's not so much for blondes, it's just for any kind of coloured hair that has some damage, which is my hair. There's just my hair. So, oh no, this one's dripping. I'm gonna make this quick because I need to put it in the sink, but this is the conditioner that goes with it. So these are the Chroma Absolute range. The conditioner from the range is gorgeous as well. It leaves my hair feeling so, so not. Sorry, what? <laughs> leaves my hair feeling so, so soft and nourished. <laughs> I've, I've even just got that. <laughs> Sorry, just Outside, yeah. We also have this mask as well. I've already gone through one of these. So this is a brand new one. I love it. It's the Chroma Absolute Mask Chroma Filler. It says anti-porosity deep filling mask system. Sensitized or damaged color treated hair, medium to thick. I love it. It's great. So with my masks, I put them on. I have a spray bottle, like an old spray bottle. I just dampen my hair because I find some moisture makes it easier to get the mask on but I don't wet the hair because then I feel like it takes ages for the mask to absorb. If I were leaving it on like during a day in the summer, which I love to do by the way, it's like my favourite thing in the summer because your hair gets all like cold and wet and it keeps you cool and it's so lovely. I love doing that in the summer but in the winter I obviously don't do that because I don't want hypothermia so I just dampen it a little bit and then run the mask through my hair and I find that it dries very quickly but the mask also like dries into the hair it's great yeah and then I get in the shower a shampoo condition and then I might do a treatment if I felt like it I sometimes do this with whether I've done a mask or not but I try not to do this too much because you're not meant to do it like with every wash it's the chroma absolute resurfacing high shine rinse treatment it's basically a gloss and you just use it like once they say weekly use but I because I've washed my hair so little I kind of do it every like month if that makes sense. You can see how much I've used on the side. It's like here. And it's got each of those is like one use. I really like this. It makes my hair so, it will make my hair like this soft and sleek and like shiny and cute without me having to go to my hairdressers and have like a professional blow dry. And I love that. Okay. These are my bedroom stash hair care products. Half of them are empties as well. So we're gonna go for like an old school YouTube vibe with the empties here. So my first empty. <laughs> I actually had a double delivery of this arrive the other day. I bought two more. This is the Kerastase Resistance 
Cementhamique. Resurfacing Strengthening Milk. Blow Dry Care for Damaged Hair. So this is the, oh, we've got some flyaways going on. This is the heat protectant that I use. And I think it's the one that is rumored to like last until your next wash. It doesn't say it on the back, but that that's the rumor I've heard. I always do top up. I like the extra insurance, so I top up in between. When I'm like about to straighten my hair or curl it or whatever, I'll put a spray like mist of heat protectant on. I really like this one from GHD. They've reformulated it now and it's in a different package in packaging. It's called Bodyguard now, but I just have an old one lying about, so I've been using that. But this I put on before I blow dry my hair, every time I've washed my hair, and I've been using it for since last August, I think last August I'd started using it or maybe just a little bit after that and I remember at the time my hair looked like it was starting to like get a little bit dry, I was starting to heat style it quite a lot again and my hair actually just kind of stayed at that level even though I kept heat styling it more and more and more and I swear it was because I started using this so I am a big fan of this, like I said I just bought two more. I then also oil my hair, I started doing this because I saw uh, I think it's Kate Hutchins talking about the fact that she oils her hair in the morning and the evening and she obviously has like the best hair I've ever seen so I've started doing it hence why this is like this I was like using every so often but since I've started using it every day like it's disappearing it's really satisfying you as a like influencer youtuber whatever you want to whatever you want to call me um using product up is literally the most satisfying thing this is the blonde absolute hill seeker extreme and um, it smells incredible and it makes my hair look so good so i use this a little bit in the morning a little bit in the evening if my hair's feeling extra dry i go quite like hard with it in the evening and like just put it in like a bun or whatever it absorbs really really nicely but doesn't like absorb and then it just looks like how my hair looked before like it genuinely does make my hair look really soft and healthy and shiny so very obsessed with this then we have a mousse which I use um, if I really want my blow dry, blow dry to hold. I don't always use it because I do find all mousses are slightly drying and anything that makes my hair drying, I generally try to avoid because I just think the more you dry your hair out, the harder it is to brush, the more you like struggle with it when you're brushing, the more of your hair is like breaking off. So I really try to avoid it where possible, but if I've got like a lot going on, or I don't want to have to heat style my hair again, I will pop a little bit of this in. But speaking of drying my hair out, the one thing that I do always make room for in my hair care routine is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I also love the Kerastas uh, Dry Shampoo. It's amazing as well, and it's in the cutest nude packaging. But this is like the king of dry shampoos. So it's the reason my, my hair was so big this morning, so there's basically so much of this in it. Um, it is actually really good at like almost cleaning my hair, like fully. Um, if I catch my hair in time and it's not too greasy, I actually do feel like I pop this in, leave it in, brush it through, kind of like brush off the excess and my hair does actually look like it's been washed, but go overboard and you are screwed or catch yourself like too late, like too late on in the game and your hair is actually greasy and it doesn't work in the same way and it does look like you've dry shampooed your hair, which is the look that I don't really mind. I love that volume, I love that texture. Um, I also like to use it through the ends of my hair if I've like curled them and done a beachy wave because it gives it that like gorgeous texture. So this is a bit of a multi-use one for me, like I will happily spray it all over my entire head. Like I said, try not to do that too much at the moment because I don't want to dry my hair out, but I still will happily use this at the root. And I feel like with the new fringe, this is going to be my best friend. That is my hair care routine. And then you guys just kind of know all of the tools that I use and the various different bits. That is my hair care routine express version because I don't think I've ever said so many words in such a short space of time. I hope you enjoyed. Put the answer to some questions. Everything will be in the info box below for you guys. <laughs>
it's rare it is rare so you have to kind of like celebrate the moments like this when they're there my energy has not been like this good for quite a while now so yeah feeling great but um yeah just watched hunger games and ate the same pasta that i have literally been eating all week because this is what happens when ryan's not around i just literally eat the same thing every day and it's so boring <laughs> have arrived this is where i have seen the dining table i've actually seen a couple of dining tables that i really like I really like this chair ryan is being very sensible and he's reminded me that that's not what we're here for sadly I really love this i don't love the price though look at that no it's gorgeous though i love a stone top i think it would go so well in the kitchen so these are one of the sets of chairs that i was looking at i really like these and I wanted it kind of like a black or like stone table to go with. So adding to the list of reasons why I love Ryan, these chairs, which are my preferred, are also his favourite. Love you. I love these so much. Doing a bit of changing rooms over here. I really like this table and I think it would look really cool with these chairs in our kitchen. We just got back and I thought I'd show you my outfit before uh, I change. I'm tempted to change into the dad outfit. You know, with the bucket hat, I'm, I'm really tempted um, because it's so nice and warm. I need to like go and assess the temperature in the garden, but that would be a goal's little outfit for the afternoon. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing my dark green olive activewear set, uh, which I just love. I think this might be my favorite of all of the green sets that I own. Second favorite is pine and then the khaki one. Um, I'll link it below if you guys want to go and check it out. And then I've got my Converse on, my giant tote, trench, sunnies. I really love these sunnies at the moment. But yeah, that is what I'm wearing. I didn't really get the chance to do any jewelry any or anything. So um, yeah, just really simple, but really cute and nice and like comfy and easy. Um, didn't get a ton of wear out of the trench apart from when we went into uh, the supermarket because <laughs> It was so warm in my car. I am loving life. I literally have a whole different personality when the sun is out. I'm also obsessed with my hair. I'm really, really enjoying it, you guys. I'm really enjoying these waves. I hadn't realized how long my hair was getting. Like, I know so many people are gonna DM me being like, have you had extensions? It's because I have had my hair in uh, like the blow dried style for so long. I, even I've forgotten how long my hair had gotten because <laughs> I've been like, obviously the ends have been like, curled up like this um so i feel like i've got a whole new head of hair uh, literally the sun has come out i've got a new hairdo i am a whole different person i've done that six month thing that i like to do where i change my hair <laughs> and like have a whole different vibe every six months both me and my hairdresser when it was complete were like yes this is what was needed because it was so long and they were just it was just dragging me down weighing me down i feel like i've got a fresh new head of hair whole new personality feeling great ryan's made us a little garden picnic Thank Yummy. you. Marla's joining us. Look at these. I'm so excited to eat these. Nala really also wants to eat them. So here's a little garden update for everyone that loves it. We've got some tulips coming out and I'm literally so happy about it. The tulips are white and then we're gonna have the lavender coming up, which will be purple. We've got purple sage as well. So it's gonna be a nice mix of like white and purple. Really, really cute. And then I think there should be some alliums coming up either side of this stage, which will be purple and really big and cute as well. And we've got a little purple one on the end over here too. Yeah, that's how it's looking. Um, not doing veggies this year because I don't plan on being in the country very much. So it's mostly herbs with a few flowers. Okay, I've had to lose some clothes. It's so hot, but I've changed into my favorite dad outfit. This is gonna be perfect. Oh, I was getting a little bit hot in the garden, but I wanted to like be covered as well. I always end up burning my shoulders, so I like to have my shoulders covered where possible. But yeah, um, wearing my dad outfit, the caramel and shorts. I think I'm actually just gonna keep them this length. I think I might have said uh, that I might take them up a little bit, but I'm actually just gonna keep them um, this length. So that is my little outfit of the afternoon and i think i'm gonna leave it here for this vlog and go and enjoy the sunshine enjoy my bank holiday weekend i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me this week and seeing what i've been up to and i'll see you guys again very soon i have a jeans video coming up shopping for jeans is back so yeah i'll be back with that very soon love you bye